hey friends from beautiful Bangkok, as you can see here in the background, the paradise for software builders. And in today's video, I will talk about how I got 400,000 users ish for my startup in the last two years. This is the one that I'm talking about is Ginny, ask Ginny on AI. It's a very simple WhatsApp chatbot. Nothing crazy here, but it got pretty viral um, at some point. And I want to talk about how I did this with mainly TikTok today. Because why do I want to talk about this? Because in the end, distribution is king. Um, like you can build products right all day long, but if nobody uses them, then there is literally no point in building them. And actually, with most products, especially in B2B, you should even start with the distribution part, right? So you should have a landing page uh, where there is, like landing page you can do in uh, in 10 minutes or in an hour on Webflow, right? Uh, with just a, just a wait list or something like that. And then start with the distribution and only if you have validation, then build it, right? Um, so in this video, I will talk about how I promoted this tool on TikTok and actually have all the videos that I also uploaded here in this Notion doc. So you can just copy me basically. All right, let's start with the first framework. This video, this video alone got us like, I would say a hundred thousand users. Um, this video, this is basically what, what the, what the company started. The AI, it's Chechi. So Did let me but in WhatsApp. try to restart this. Thank me later. Can't access ChatGPT? Check out AskGenie.ai. It's ChatGPT, but in WhatsApp. Thank me later. It's Can't such a it's such a stupid simple video, right? You would think, like this this is a six second video, right? This would never get so much traction or something. But it was just it was hitting the right pain point at that time because when we launched this video was right after. Um, ChatGPT launched basically like a week after and at that time everybody wanted to use ChatGPT so it was super overloaded right you probably can remember this the screen that this I showed Chat you right ChatGPT is at capacity right now so big 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 pain point everybody wants to use this new tool and what we basically did or what we found out is ah, okay there's an API um, and that API is actually not congested, so people can still use it, basically, right, without um, having to go to the web browser. And we just, I'm just getting a call here, uh, and we just put it into WhatsApp, right? Um, it took us like a day of work to, to build this. Um, the promise, so I started with a pain, right, audience pain, very high pain. Oh, I cannot access this new tool. Promise, you can use this tool just in a different way, actually in your favorite, in your favorite app, WhatsApp, right? Action, show the URL, show the website, like it's as it. I did here. Check out askgenie.ai. I could have actually put this also into Google search bar, which I will show you later, which also works really well so that people can just like type it in and then uh, send it off. And yeah, I approximately from this video, I would say a hundred thousand users. Um, just came directly from this and then of course they share it on WhatsApp it's like friends of friends see it and so on so really really cool second framework here um, here we start with a desire okay they want something new Let, let's let's watch the video websites part one if you have a website where you don't want to use your own email go to 10minutemail.com copy your free 10 minute mail enter it on your website and you will receive your verification code or whatever into your 10 minute mail inbox. Follow for more. I'm so as you see, this video is not for, for Jenny, but this was another video I just did on a, on a random website uh, back in the days when I wanted to build this account. And here I started uh, with basically a desire uh, to- Generated websites, part one. If you have a website- to to do something new, but actually also in the same one, I, d I also addressed a pain immediately, okay? Because people don't want their email to land in spam, right? Like the email to use for spam. Um, so I, I went ahead, I um, gave them something new. Oh, um, like the, the hook, right? The hook is this underrated website, website where hook. This works, this is a general hook that works really, really, really good. Uh, for most websites that you want to promote, um, you can use this underrated website hook and people are already like, oh, 
I want to find something new. Let me watch this, right? And then in the second one, you can even address a pain, uh, which is good. Um, some some of these tools that I did videos of, that Android website tools, they just look cool, don't address the pain. But already with this hook, it's like, oh, let me watch this, right? Then there's an action. Um, I clearly you don't want I then to use your own email. Go to show the URL in the ten-minutemail.com screen here. This is very, very good because Google is already a trusted website. They're like, oh wow, I can just copy paste this URL, and then a promise of transformation in the end. Um, okay, you can use this email. Um, will not land and spam, right? Um, example two of uh, underrated website. Let's watch this. Underrated websites, part 18. If you search for synthesia.io and you click on the first link, you'll be able to generate AI videos. Check this out. All you do is type your script and it will generate the video. You can also change the language and pick any of these avatars. When you're done, just click on generate the video and boom. Hi, I'm Tim and today I will show you how to make AI videos. Same spiel here, right? Underrated website hook. This is actually an AI tool. Synthesia went pretty viral. Underrated websites part eighteen. If you search, for and um, he he basically starts with the with the search bar so people see it, and then explains the tool. This is what I meant with okay. This tool doesn't really solve a clear pain point right now for a specific audience, but it went super viral. Got like thirty million views. This video, so that's a, that's a great general way if you start out. If you start out and have no idea what video to do on your AI SaaS, this is one of the videos that I would 100% do. Yeah. <clears throat> Third example is again from Go me. to namelix.com. So I start again with the underrated website thing. Enter any keyword and hit generate. Select randomness and name style. And you get unlimited name suggestions for whatever you needed. Time to get creative. Let's watch the beginning again. Underrated websites part two. Yeah, I did again the same thing. Underrated website. Um, blah blah blah. Go to. I show the. I show how people can get to the website quickly in Google. Namelix.com. Enter any keyword. And this is like a name generator tool um, that they can use. So I again show them like the the promised outcome uh, for um, uh, for finding something new. Show the action and uh, um, <clears throat> like yeah, show something new that makes their life simpler. So very, very simple videos that you can literally create with your iPhone. Just show your tool in uh, on your desktop screen, right? And uh, and that's it. You can copy paste this for a lot of things. Okay, <clears throat> third framework is I cannot believe how easy this was. Um, this video also went pretty good. Um, I think like 11,000 views or something like that. And um, here I am basically, I'm, I'm, I'm utilizing a different hook. Um, I'm because people always want something that makes their life easier, makes it more comfortable, right? So let's watch this one. Thank I cannot believe how easy this was. I just created this model agency website in five seconds. Search for Framer AI. So here I'm um, basically advertising for Framer AI. You probably know this is also went viral um, like a year ago. AI website builder, right? And great. In, instead of this underrated website hook, I basically changed that to, oh, there's an easy way to solve your problem. Like, oh, wow, I want that easy way, right? People, they're lazy, right? They always want an easy way. Um, and then it's basically the same. Show desired outcome. So I show the website quickly. I click the first link. Um, like, I basically, I show them how, how they can get there. Um, and I, I, I specify it with numbers, right? In five seconds, like, oh wow, this is always very powerful. Specify with numbers. Action, show the URL. Then I show the transformation. Enter what you want to have and click start with AI. And literally in five seconds, you get this. This might be the end oh, yeah. for and web design. In the end, I spark like a little bit of contro controversial uh, controversy by saying, is this the end of web designers? Um, which could lead to like a like a thread of comments like oh no this is never replaced blah, blah 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 this is what you want right you want controversy in your comments right all right the fourth one is this the last one um, okay this is the fourth one is also one that went pretty pretty good I think this got like fifty thousand views this one so let's watch it wait you never run out of quantities again. 
go to answerthepublic.com, type in any topic and hit search. And it gives you a sheer unlimited amount of suggestions for your topic. So here I'm basically advertising for the, for the answer, answer the public website. And I haven't actually written down something here, but what I immediately see is I start uh, with a negative sentence, basically, never, right? It's a very strong word, uh, negative word in the sentence. Um, it's better to use never, like people rather watch this, you see the news, right? It's always like, it's always like negatively framed than to say, um, oh, this is how you get uh, 100 content ideas or um, this is the best way to get content ideas. And this, this, is, this way you will never run out of content ideas. Wow, okay, crazy. Um, if, you have a, if you have a blog writing tour, right? You can also say uh, this way you will, you will never have to write again for your blog or something like that, right? And uh, this is why this, this, this video went so well, right? It's, in most videos, it's all about the hook, right? And this way you never run out of content ideas again. Go to answerthepublic.com. Same, same thing here again. I show the website in the URL. Um, type in any topic. Then I show how the product works. And hit search. And it gives you a sheer unlimited amount of suggestions for your topic. Yeah, um, pretty good views, 50,000 views. Because it also targets a very mass market, right? Like content creation is super mass. Uh, people people want to create more content. Uh, great. Yeah, um, these were basically four great examples that you can copy paste immediately for your SaaS. What I want to emphasize here is your first videos will probably get no views, right? Um, you probably all know Alex Hormozy, right? Um, this guy is like the, the king of, business, of YouTube business content right now. He has a rule, it's called the rule of 100, which means do 100 things of uh, do 100 repetitions of one thing um, every single day, which means, um, for example, sending out 100 cold emails or sending out, sending out 100 minutes of content per day um, or like generating 100 minutes of content per day or doing $100 in ad spend. So do this for a few days, right, or a few weeks, and you will see definitely some views picking up on your TikTok content or YouTube shorts, wherever you upload this, right? Lastly, um, when you then found the winner, then you can start with ads. Then I would really uh, push this thing with ads because then it will get very, very cheap clicks and you can reach a lot, a lot of people in your desired audience uh, with ads. And on TikTok, this is for example called Spark Ads. So you have your organic posts, maybe it got already 3000 likes or something like that. And uh, when you then search how to do Spark ads, very, very simple. You basically put money on the existing post and say, I want to play this out in the US or something like that. And the cool thing here is it then takes all the likes, all the comments, all the shares and displays it as well in the ad, which gives it a huge social trust score, basically. So if people see a video that is a pure ad with zero likes, zero comments, probably going to swipe away immediately right but if this is a video has whatever 10,000 likes or something like that, like, oh wow let's watch this even though it, uh, it's a sponsored post they, they don't care um, so this is also what I did then later on with that one viral hit video that got a, a 1.7 million views right I put some some ads on it uh, because I knew that it would uh, perform well with ads yeah, uh, thanks a lot for watching this. I hope that gave you some value on how to how to market your SaaS. Um, and so about half of the users we got from the social content, the other half we got from SEO. Um, if you want an SEO tutorial next, let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, see you in the next video. Cheers from beautiful Bangkok. <laughs>